what everyone wanted to begin with. Um, 80 carry tier list. I actually need to make this bigger. This is... Uh... Okay. I think I did it right. Wait, did I instantly get a game again? No, I didn't. All right, I know this is a bit controversial. I think Berserker might be better than Hans. This is not really anything against Hans. I just think Berserker is insane. Yeah, I get different vibes when I play against him and I think he's, I think he's fucking insane. I think it's really close. Um, I think it's really close, but I'm not even trying to be like, uh, you know that guy that's just like always overcorrects and has to be a smart ass and have a different opinion than everyone else because, you know, mainstream opinions are lame. I actually had this opinion before I saw, like way, way before this tier list, like a week before when I was playing Champions 2 against Berserker and Hans. You know, it's really close. It's really close. And, and, uh, yeah, I don't want people to think that I think for some reason, like Hans is not that good. I think it's just that Berserker is, I think he's really, really good. So... Everything else seems right about normal. Three, I think between FBI and Danny, that one's tough. Some people would say Danny for the pop up potential, but I think FBI has shown pretty solid consistency. Like he he plays well almost every game. There are games where I feel like he's a bit invisible, but I think that might be just the nature of playing AD carry on a team that doesn't have good teamwork. Um, you're kind of just left in the dust sometimes, so I'll give him some slack for that. And honestly, with Danny, it's. It's a similar situation where like he pops off and sometimes he, he looks kind of useless, but his team is also a bit disjointed. So put him at a solid fourth. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, dude, the bottom five. This is this is this is this is a top five. I think Luger deserves to be in top five. Luger's pretty good. Yeah, I think Luger's pretty good. Luger deserves to be in top five. I can't believe Raz put Neo in top four. I feel like Neo has not been playing that well at all. I think this makes sense. Maybe tactical is number five. I don't know. Taxel kind of fell off a lot this split. Um, I'm thinking about the other options. I'm thinking about the other options. Dude, I, f I think I'm just copying everyone else's tier list now. Okay, no bias without looking at these tier lists. Who do I actually think is good? Berserker number one. Hans is slightly worse. FBI is slightly worse than Hans. Danny is slightly worse than FBI. Luger is slightly worse than Danny. Is this right? Yeah. That's how I feel. I think Taxel almost deserves to be top five for his like highs. When he's actually playing well, he's good. Dude, 6 to 10, who cares? I, I, I actually, just depending on the day, I think Arrow, Johnson, Lost, Neo, and Tactical can all be horrendous. Um, top 5 at least, I, I feel like they're never really that terrible. Neo, Lost, Johnson, Arrow. No, yeah. Like, if they, when they're having a bad game, they're, <laughs> it's, like, disgusting. Who would I hire? Um, okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Tactical... Johnson, eight. Actually, no, 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 no. So yeah, who would you hire to be building a team? Lost. I would do ta Tashel and then Lost, actually. Why Johnson, over Lost? nine, Neo, ten, Arrow, like this. Why would I hire Tashel over Lost? Um, uh, he's younger. That's pretty much it. Uh, they both have like, like Lost goes AFK and just doesn't do damage. Tactical just doesn't have a health bar. Uh, depending on how he's feeling. He just says, fuck it, I'm tired of living, and he runs it. Lost doesn't do that. Lost actually just plays like a like a KDA player. Um, Johnson plays like a KDA player, but, but he's actually mechanically worse than Lost. Um, and so that's why I put him below Lost. He's basically just like, he's like Lost, but he's playing at like a B. Um, and then Neo uh, doesn't, I don't know, man. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on with Neo. He ints every game. That's all I've noticed. Every single game, Neo will just die. And it'll, it'll die in a way where I'm just like, how the fuck could you ever die there? This doesn't even make sense that you could die. It's like the fucking wind blew on him and he died. Wait, arrow, arrow, I would just put, I'll put a question mark here because I actually don't know. Wait, yeah, could, should you add Turtle? Because what, why are, have they stopped playing Turtle? That's true. That's true. Where is Wild Turtle in all of this? Yeah, now, I would put, turtle. I would put, I would put Wild Turtle 6, 6, B wild turtle i put wild turtle below tactical okay because tactical has more potential than wild turtle but i think that wild turtle probably plays overall better than lost not bad yeah no honestly tactical when he 
It depends on his mental state, man. If he's in a good mood and he has a good mentality, he's not bad. Like, Tassel could honestly be like... Hold on, let's just... Let's just actual... <laughs> okay, okay. Hold on. Actual number one tactical with stable mental. <laughs> do that because you have to average out all of his okay number 9999 tactical yes, with bad mental <laughs> but you have to average it out okay and so i've averaged it out at six out of 10 lcs 80 carries i actually don't know where to put arrow because legit like i've barely seen him play okay where would you put i'm a cutie pie all right i'm a cutie pie is probably all the way down here at number 99998 okay where <laughs> uh sneaky okay okay so okay logically right i think sneaky is better than wild turtle when he's in form sneaky right now but like maybe four point b sneaky in form okay top top five lcs putting sneaky in there is not controversial at all if you don't think sneaky when he's in good form could be top five in lcs you're fucking trolling you're actually delusional and you're just straight up a sneaky hater. Okay, okay, okay. Actual yourself? real number one. <laughs> me in form. All right, and we'll just do me right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I have the confidence. Okay, so so where's Sven? I think Sven deserves to be on this list. Sven deserves to be on this list. And let me think about this. Is Sven better than Sneaky when they're both in form? Guys, is Sven better than Sneaky when they're both in form? I think Sneaky's better. I think it depends on the team, obviously. Depends on the team. But I think Sneaky is better by a little bit. So I would put 4.C four, 4 Sven, okay? No hate on Sven. He's still top four. He's still top four. Kind of, right? Like, I, I think Sneaky, when he was playing well, was, like, kind of cracked. No, I'm not pulling you guys. This is my tier list. This is not democracy, guys. This is a fucking dictatorship. So according to your list right now, you would hire Sven over Tactical. I would hire Sven over Tactical right now. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. I, is okay. That's not even controversial. Like, seriously, well, yeah, every... So just, like, I, would, I would hire Sven. I, I think Luger is really good. I would hire Sven over Luger. I don't think EG should replace Danny with Sven. That's where I draw the line. So that's why I put him below Danny, because I feel like Danny could be really, really good. But like, would I replace... If CLG, TSM, Sven... Immortal Sven, Golden Guardian Sven. I think this is all beneath him. I think Sven's too good to be on these teams. He deserves to be up here, top four. And he deserves to buy a Quicksilver Sash. Okay, but like, but like, actual, actual number one, Uzi. Okay, I think, like, let's be real here. Let's be real here, guys. I'm not, I'm not delusional. I'm not delusional. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uzi or Guma Yushi? Let's pretend Guma Yushi doesn't exist. Let's pretend he doesn't exist. Okay, but, okay, but where would you put BRCC? I hate you. 